Hello, my friends. Yelena is here with Fit, Fun, Happy. Welcome to 30 minutes upper body burnout workout. This workout is full of compound movements that will hit every muscle group and burn big calories. This is a timed interval format with the work time increase and rest time drop each set. We will have two sets. Set number one is 45 seconds work. 15 seconds rest and set 2 is 50 seconds work and 10 seconds rest. I will guide you through every exercise and every rep, offering form cues and exercise options so please do what feels right for you and always focus on proper form. For today's workout, you will need light, medium and heavy sets of dumbbells. I suggest between maybe 8 and 15, your fitness mat, towel, and water. We will have uh, only just one block, 8 exercises, so we will complete 2 sets. Alright, so let's get our party started with the mobility warm-up. Find yourself in the middle of the mat, your feet grounded, shoulder width apart, inhale, raise your arms up, then drop your right arm down and side bend, bring it back to center and switch side, center and switch. Two more times on each side, feel that stretch on the side of your body. One more. Great job. Now hinge on your hips, forward fold, walk out to plank. Stop in your strong straight plank and walk back to your feet. Stand up, squeeze your glutes, tall and strong. Hinge, forward fold, walk out to plank two more times, just like that. Walk back to your feet. Stand up tall. One more. Hinge, forward fold, and walk out to plank. Walk back. Stand up tall and strong. Now hinge in your hips, walk out to plank. And stay in your plank. Now lower your knees and hips and pull your chest through cobra. Lift your hips up, down dog. Now shift forward, lower your knees, your quads down to the floor, pull your chest through into cobra, shift your hips up and back, down dog, one more, shift forward, lower, cobra, and shift back into down dog position, now shift forward, lower your knees, find yourself in the box position, Place your right hand behind your right ear. Open up your chest to the right. And bring your elbow down, touch the opposite wrist. And back rotation. And bring it down. Open up to the right. Bring it down, touch the floor. Open up to the right. And bring it down. Switch sides. Left hand behind your left ear. Open up your chest to the left, your elbow to the sky, and bring it down. Touch your wrist. Open up. Close. Bring it down. Two more. Open and close. Warming up our trunk muscles. One more. And done. Great job. Now let your knees up off the floor. Step your right foot forward and the outside of your right hand. Lift your arm up. Rotate. Front. Bring it back down. Bring your right foot back. Left foot forward. Open up to the left. Switch sides. Step back. Right foot forward. Bring it down. Switch sides. Left. And bring it back. Down. Great job. Now walk your hands slowly back to your feet and slowly rise up to standing. Let's warm up our shoulders, our arms. So you squat down, 
and then lift your arms up and give me a circle what and circle five more open up the chest shoulders full mobility one more great job now we're stepping right foot back into reverse lunge bringing back to center and opening up our hip joint step back bring it forward high knee and hip rotation so two more times reverse lunge bring that knee high and give me a circle one more hip rotation great job now switching sides stepping left foot back or whichever side you did first time keep going one more reverse and hip rotation all right great job now we're warmed up for our body lubricated all our joints that we're gonna be using for our workout so our first move is you will need two medium weight of dumbbells set of dumbbells it will be reverse grip hinge on your hips two rows stand up bicep curl you're keeping palms facing towards you and extending your arm and bring it back down so to reverse shoulder press okay so reverse grip row stand up bicep curl shoulder press our first move 45 seconds get ready shoulders away from your ears shoulder blades connected let's go so palms facing out hinge reverse grip row stand up bicep curl extend your arms above your shoulders bring it back down slow with control hinge reverse grip row stand up curl and press core is tight Stand up, curl to your shoulder, press. Almost there. And press. Give me one more. Connecting the shoulder blades when we're doing our rows. And done. Next one, you'll just need one dumbbell. We're doing just a right side, so grounded foot is right. Stepping into curtsy, lower, extend your arms above your head, and tricep extension. Let's go, and reset. Curtsy, lower, extend your arms, and flex. Bring it back to your chest, reset. Keep going. So your back knee should be close to the heel of your front foot. Shoulders right above your hips. There is no hinge. Try to keep your elbows close to your ears or your bicep. Core is tight. Almost there. And done. Next one, you will need lighter dumbbell. We're doing single arm fly fly stand up hammer curl so you can do staggered feet let's go fly stand up and curl so as you fly your elbow is slightly bent stand up and curl keep that core tight and curl Great job. 
control and that weight the weight is a little bit ahead of your shoulder so it's not completely aligned with it one more and done great job now you will need a little bit heavier dumbbell so it's gonna be reverse lunge and snatch so the same leg is stepping back the dumbbell in that hand so we're stepping back with the left so you're snatching snatch and bring it back down snatch so your elbow so it's like you bring it to your shoulder and then bring it back down so you can touch and bring it down snatch let's go bring it down controlling that weight so as you bring it up bend your elbow just go by your shoulder and bring it back down. You can keep your arm straight or you can bend your elbow as you're moving that weight above your shoulder. Done. Next one is lateral row. So we're stepping to the left and row back to center let's go and reset hips back hinge in your hips and row bring that dumbbell close to your rib cage the dumbbell between your chest and your hip bone just put it in that pocket halfway awesome job hinge Pull those hips all the way to the back wall behind you. Keep that core tight, protecting your lower back. Almost there. Great job. And done. Next one, just single dumbbell. We're squatting. So feet a little bit shorter than your shoulders. So squat, swing the dumbbell between your legs, stand up and power curl let's go so you're squatting low bring your dumbbell between your legs and your thighs and using momentum bringing the dumbbell to your shoulder your knees following your toes in your squat chest is forward halfway so you're breathing. If you're going down, exhale. Breath is your power. Almost there. One more. And done. Next one is on the floor. Hovering box or bear crawl. Tricep pull backs. So you're hovering, alternating. Straight arm back, let's go. So keep your knees off the floor, hover, or you can lower if it's too much. Pull in that straight arm back, keeping your body balanced. The hips are straight, core is really, really tight. Almost there, halfway. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Elongate your neck. Almost there. It's a really powerful move. A lot of muscles working. A lot of core. And done. Lower. So go all the way to the floor on your belly. Grab your lightest dumbbells. And you are in the reverse fly position so your elbow slightly bent so your chest is off the floor a little bit he's grounded power in your hands so lift pull those elbows back and return lift pull and return or you can lower all the way to the floor lift pull and return keep going You're looking down, gaze is down. 
and elongate your neck. Lift your chest, arms, hovering, pull those elbows back. Pull those wings back. We're strengthening our back. All those muscles around the scapula. Getting strong. Keep going. Inhale and pull and down. Woo! That was hard. That's heck. All right, quick break. And then we'll do one more time. Now we know exactly what you need to do. Make adjustments in your weight. And let's get to it. All right. So next set is 50 10. It's gonna be a little bit longer time for our work and a little bit less to rest. Yet, ready. So, first one is reverse grip, two, stand up, curl, and reverse press, and lower. Get ready. Grab your dumbbells. Shoulders away from your ears. The gap is connected. Let's go. Hinge. Two reverse rows. Stand up. Curl and press. Lower. Slow with control. Two and one. With your glutes as you stand up and press. Keep going. Just like that. Exhale. You got this. Inhale at the beginning of your move. You got this. Exhale you got at the end. Almost there. Ten more seconds Don't left. Doing awesome. Curl and press. Give me one more. The whole move. Stand up. Curl and press. And done. Next one, just grab one dumbbell. Remember, break is quick. Curtsy going to the left. Let's go. Curtsy, extend, tricep extension. Reset. Lower. Flex and extend. Just like that. Keep going. Shoulders right above your hips. The neck is long. Chest is proud. Halfway. Try to keep those biceps close to your ears as you flex and extend those elbows. Awesome job. And done. Now single arm fly and curl. Now on the left side. Let's get ready. So now our left arm is flying, fly, stand up, and curl. Let's go. Fly, and curl. Keep that core tight, and curl. Controlling that move. As you extend that arm to the side, your trunk shouldn't be swaying in a direction. If it's moving, that means your weight is a little bit too heavy to have more control in your fly move. Fly, stand up, and curl. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Getting stronger. And curl. One more. Fly, and curl down, reverse lunge and snatch. Now switching arms, right hand, right leg is stepping back. Let's go. So stepping back and snatch. So snatch. So as you bring it up, start bending your elbow, bring the dumbbell to your chest, 
and then right above your head. One, two, move. If it's too much, you can just do high pull, high pull, okay? Or notch above your head. Make sure you're breathing. Almost there. Controlling that weight. That dumbbell. Stay in a little bit on the front of your shoulder. Don't pull that dumbbell behind. Done. Whew. Now lateral lunge. Stepping to the right. And row. Reset. Let's go. Row. Pulling that elbow the back wall behind you. Hinge and pull. Keep going and breathing. Do an awesome job. Halfway. Slow to your ribcage. Dumbbell between your chest and your hip bone. Almost there. Give me one more. One more. Row. And reset. Woo. Now, single dumbbell swing. And power curl. Let's go. Left hand. Wide and swing. What? Swing and curl. Deep squat. Pull those knees externally. So they're following your toes. Keep the chest up. Down in that heart. Dumbbell to your shoulder. Power move. Burning those calories. A lot of muscle groups. Working at the same time. A lot of energy is being used and done. All right. Cover box and tricep pull back. So get a new box and let's go. Keep on hovering those knees. Bring that straight arm back and return back and return just like that back straight and strong core is tight keep on pulling that belly towards your spine try hovering those knees or drop them for a few seconds and then lift again they're barely off the floor Almost there. You should be feeling those triceps working. If they're not working, then you need to adjust your move or grab heavier weight. And done. Woo. One more. Get down to your belly. Grab your lighter dumbbell. We're doing strong airplane. Let's go, flying. So lift and pull elbows back. Return and lower. Lift, pull, return and lower. Your legs, feet are grounded. Lift and pull. So looking down, so there's no crank in your neck. Lift your chest and pull those elbows towards your ribcage. The swings out wide. Elbows are bent. Almost there. And pull. Lift and pull. Awesome job. One more. Lift and pull. And done. Woo! Way to go. I have a puddle here on my mat. Whew. 
let's cool down, bring our heart rate down. So find yourself in the box. Drop your belly down, tailbone is up. Pull your chest through between those biceps. Exhale, round up your back. Pull it towards the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale, drop your belly down. Exhale. Pull the back towards the sky. One more. Inhale, drop your belly down. Pull the chest through. And return back to neutral. Great job. Now, find yourself in a child pose. So connect your big toes. Open up your knees wider. Shift your hips back. And place them down on top of your heels. Extend your arms all the way forward. Now, bring your right arm. Thread it under your left armpit. Shoulders, right shoulder down to the floor, right ear down to the floor. You might need to lift your hips up a little bit and feel that stretch in your shoulder. And stay here for three, two, one. Unwind. Each side now thread your left arm under your right armpit your left ear to floor and try to pull that chest over open up to the right stay here for three two and one Unwind. Great job. Now lower all the way down to your belly. Extend your legs. Extend your right arm to the side. And bend your left knee and cross your foot over that extended leg. Place your foot on the ground. And open up your chest to the left. Feel the stretch in your shoulder, in your chest. You might want to extend your left arm up towards the ceiling to add more intensity, more power to your stretch. Or you can bend your elbow and place your palm, the back of your hands on lower back. On the next inhale, return back to center and let's switch sides. Extend your left arm to the side, bend your right knee and cross your foot over that extended left leg, your left ear on the floor, your chest is open to the right and extend your right arm up to the ceiling. Or bend your elbow and place your hand on your lower back. And open up the chest more. Stay here for three, two, and one. Turn back center. And slowly push yourself up to the box and then into your seated position. Great job, my friends. Your workout is complete. Thank you so much for showing up to get stronger and healthier. If you enjoyed this workout, please give me a thumbs up. Share this workout with your friends, with your family. Have fun working out together with them. Subscribe to my channel and please leave your comments. See you next time. Be well, my friends.